Okay, today is our final adventure in the area of Puerto Vallarta with our friend, driver, and guide, Mayor Dad. And Mayor Dad is heading off to Mexico City and then from there to Frankfurt, Germany. And I am going to Guadalajara. Never having been there before. Um, my friend Helder, who lives there, says we're going to go on a few adventures there to see two, possibly three, ancient uh, ancient sites. And um, so I'll be there for a total of six nights. And then from there, it's off to the historic core of Ciudad de Mexico, Mexico City. And we'll have to wait and see once we get there as to what's open to the public and what's not. But my friend there, Pablo, has sent me a list of archaeological sites that we may be able to explore uh, that may very well be open because they're not part of the main tourist route and not part of the main uh, system of national monuments. So we'll have to wait and see. So stay tuned. So we're entering into and possibly just driving through a little pueblito called San Juan de Abajo. Don't know if it's going to have any major colonial buildings or anything like that. That's why this is a exploration. I've done zero research as to uh, possible things we're going to see today. Just we'll see what we see. as we go over our one millionth speed bump. Mexico and Peru and Bolivia are renowned for their high concentration of speed bumps. In some cases, every 10 feet or every 100 feet. Good thing the traffic is slowed down, but I think it's kind of overkill these cases. So on a damn hot day like today, nice to be near to uh, a little fountain like this to get a bit of coolness. This is not an incredibly historical or major little pueblito, little town outside of um, Puerto Vallarta, but it's my last opportunity to get to spend some time with um, Mayor Dad. So we're just taking in whatever it is that we encounter. He heard stories that there is a um, a pyramidal structure supposedly in this area, so that's what he's uh, doing now. He's asking local people uh, if they know of such a thing, and so we'll just see what he finds out. Okay, we're entering into a little pueblito called Fortuna de Viejo, translating as ancient fortune. I don't think or know that we're going to find anything of great fascination here, but we're 
doing a two and a half hour drive to get back to uh, to get back to the Puerto Vallarta area. And we've just been told that the road we were planning on taking is cobblestone disintegrating into dirt road, rough dirt road, for two and a half hours. So we've abruptly gone 180 degrees and we'll retrace our steps until maybe we can find another road to take or we'll have to take the same road we took to get here back to um, the area of Busarias. Okay, admitting the truth here, the video's been pretty boring so far, but now we've come down from the highlands and we're in Busarias, which is a seaside town, very touristy, and um, what we're hoping to do is have an encounter with a native healer in this area, this area in general, who does um, ceremonies with uh, with toad liquid or um, probably toad venom actually. So it's part of the huichol culture of Mexico. So we have a contact here. We're going to see if he can connect us up with uh, said shaman. So this is Busarias. As you can see by the sign. And before we go to see the toad extract shaman, we're going to visit uh, some artisans who are the Weechol people. And the Weechol create a very specific art form involving colored beads. Buenas tardes. Bien, gracias. También. So this is the beautiful art of the Huichol people. <clears throat> Bracelets, heads, earrings, ceramics. Very meticulous handcrafted indigenous art. Nothing brought in from China, thank God. It's the authentic. Art of the native people <clears throat> of the west coast of Mexico. Okay, so now we're outside of Busarias, and um, again, we're looking for this wisdom keeper, local man who is a practitioner of a ceremony involved with uh, the extract from a very specific type of toad, and uh, what the drug is, is a form of DMT, if you're acquainted with that. And it uh, gives you a hallucinogenic spiritual journey of some kind. Not that I'm going to be practicing it, but um, 
something that Merdad is interested in learning about. Okay, you going to move the car? Okay, so we've narrowed down the search. That's the house of some wealthy gringos with razor wire. And this too is the probably the house of wealthy gringos with some more razor wire. But the indigenous practitioner <clears throat> appears to live here. Therapias Ancestralis. So it seems that the practitioner is here. So hopefully we're going to uh, have a chance to meet. Gracias. Yeah. Hola. Hola. Alice Mayhor.